welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway, I'm the founder of the Amber Limpoles website, also the uh, Tudor Society and author of several Tudor history books. Um, I'm here in my office again because the weather is appalling again. Uh, no bright Spanish sunshine for you today, I'm afraid. No bright sunshine for me either. Okay, we're going back to 1598 today, so Queen Elizabeth I's reign. On this day in Tudor history, the 22nd of April 1598, Justice Francis Beaumont, who was also a Member of Parliament, Sergeant at Law and Justice of the Common Pleas in the reign of Elizabeth I, died. He died from jail fever at his home in Greystia in Leicestershire and he was buried in Belton Church. His colleague, Sergeant Edward Drew, also died of jail fever and they picked up jail fever um, on the Lent circuit in Lancaster. But what was jail fever? What did these two men die of? Well, it's believed that jail fever, which is mentioned uh, quite a few occasions in the primary sources, was actually epidemic typhus. And epidemic typhus was a major killer in the medieval and Tudor periods. Um, it was louse born, so body lice, um, and it was spread through contact with these body lice. Symptoms included fever, chills, headache, uh, nausea and vomiting, rapid breathing, aches, you know, in your muscles and your bones, um, a rash, a bad cough, and also confusion. Now today, epidemic typhus can be treated with antibiotics and it can be prevented with a vaccine. But of course, there were uh, no vaccines and no antibiotics in Tudor times and there were no actual effective treatments at all in Tudor times for epidemic typhus or jail fever. Now body lice thrive in overcrowded places where people are you know crammed together um, and also where people cannot keep themselves clean and they can't bathe regularly uh, they can't change their bedding and their clothes regularly so epidemic typhus gel fever was very very common in prisons um, and then when an infected prisoner with these infected body lice on his clothing and on his body was brought before a court, these infected lice could then find new hosts um, in members of the court and the public that were there at court. And so this disease could spread very quickly in prisons and also at courts. Now there were several uh, serious outbreaks of jail fever at prisons and courts in the 16th century which caused the deaths of not only prisoners but of also magistrates at the courts and these were known when it spread to courts um, and there were these epidemics these were known as the black assizes. Um, we have the Black Assizes of the Northern Circuit, which saw the death of Justice Beaumont, the man I mentioned, and his sergeant, Sergeant Drew, in 1598. But there were also the Black Assize of Oxford in 1577 and the Black Assize of Exeter Castle in 1586. So these were all legal courts. These were assizes that were affected because there some prisoner um, had um, these infected uh, body lice and th the disease spread through this lice and magistrates and people at the court were affected. Epidemics of jail fever or epidemic typhus were common until the 19th century when the Victorians started reforming prisons and making uh, conditions better uh, so that you know the, this disease couldn't couldn't spread there wasn't the overcrowding and the bad practices uh, which you know caused people to have body lice and to spread them from uh, one to the other 
So, uh, so yes, yeah, so I haven't actually told you anything about Justice Francis Beaumont or Sergeant uh, Edward Drew who died on this day, 22nd of April 1598 because I decided to go off at a tangent because I thought jail fever was actually rather interesting. It piqued my interest. I wanted to know what it was, so I thought it might pique your interest too. I do hope you're enjoying these daily videos. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking round about there and you can hit the bell to be notified as well. I'm really enjoying researching these for you. I'm, I'm having a blast and there's the rest of the year to go. Take care, have a great day, bye bye.